next a system of classification under the classification of food drug is chemical classification of food drugs in this system of classification the chemicals that are responsible for the therapeutic effects of the drug and generally these chemicals are broadly classified into two categories one is the primary met metabolites and another is the secondary metabolites primary metabolites are the chemicals that are essential for the growth and development of plants itself and secondary metabolites are the byproducts that are derived from the primary metabolites from the process of metabolism and that may be considered as a excretory substance of the plant if we think about the utilization of these two chemicals so mostly we use the secondary metabolite as a source of a drug mode rather than the primary metabolites let's see the example of this system of classification of drug uh, first one is carbohydrate or derived product carbohydrate are the polyhydroxy uh, aldehyde and ketone and the example of the drugs under this category acacia honey and ishabgul uh, next category is fat lipid or fixed oil category of drug which are actually the triglycerides or fatty acid and glycerol the examples are the castor oil and chalmogra oils uh, next category is protein protein containing drugs which are actually the polymer of uh, amino acids some examples of protein containing drugs pancreatin pepsin gelatin generally protein containing drugs are obtained from the animal sources next come to the secondary metabolite containing drugs uh, which includes several categories one is glycosides glycosides are the secondary metabolites uh, that consist of a sugar part and non sugar part the example of this category drug are senna aloe rubar next category is tannin tannins are the poly hydroxy or polyphenolic substances um, that polyphenolic substances that has the ability to uh, precipitate the protein or convert the animal skin into leather example of this category of drugs are catechu gall and myrobal next is volatile oil containing drug volatile oil are actually um, chemicals that are uh, polymer of different isoprene and a mixture of different isoprene units and different terpenoids and that evaporates at room temperature that are essential for um, plant to attract the insect for the pollination purposes example of this category of drug are chlorophenyl coriander resins are another kind of terpenoids uh, that um, consist of the isoprene unit along with some other substances example of this category ginger colophony azacatita alkaloids are the heterocyclic nitrogenous compound which has marked physiological effect and generally nitrogens are present in the ring structure in this particular so that is why we call the term heterocyclic example of this category drug ginkgo argot belladonna now come to the advantages and disadvantages of this system of classification or merit or demerits of this system of classification the major merits because active constituent are responsible for the therapeutic effect so this system of classification is essential for the new drug discovery process and phytochemical standardization as because the, this is important for the therapeutic purposes and demerits of this system it it is it doesn't consider the therapeutic active um, uh, 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 morphological features of the drug and uh, sometimes it's also overlook certain therapeutic activities of the drug 
it is difficult to classify those drugs with more than one and different chemical classes. For example, one drug, say for example, nutmeg contains both fixed oil and volatile oil. So it is difficult to categorize in a particular category, either in a fixed oil or volatile oil. Next system of classification is pharmacological or therapeutic classification. Here the two drugs are categorized according to their pharmacological or therapeutic actions. Uh, so mainly depending upon the system, how they act on the human body, we can classify them. Um, so if we think about this example of this system of classification, drugs which uh, acts on the gastrointestinal system or GI tract, we may categorize them as the bitters, bitters are the drug that are bitter in taste, that maybe acts as appetizer uh, for the treatment of the fever. Uh, examples are gentian, shirota, carminative are the drugs that expel the gases from the GI, treat, uh, GI tract through belching effect through mouth. Examples are phenyl, coriander, cardamom, laxative are the drug that evacuate the bowel and uh, form the stool. Allo Shena. Now comes to the come to the drugs act on respiratory system expectorant that liquefy the uh, mucus or cough uh, that is available in the upper respiratory tract. Bronchodilator examples are Basho Tulsi. Bronchodilators that dilate the bronchioles and respiratory tract. Example is Ephetra. Drugs acting on the cardiovascular system, cardiotonic, that strengthen the heart muscle and also um, helps uh, in the uh, pumping action of the heart, enhances the force of uh, contraction of the heart muscle. Examples are uh, digital squeal, antihypertensive that manage the hypertension. Uh, example, Raulfia. Drugs act on the central nervous system, uh, central analgesics uh, are opium. CNS stimulant is coffee. Uh, now come to the another category anti cancer uh, or anti tumor drug. Examples are the Rinca podophyllum. Uh, this system of classification is very important uh, because it is very easy to find out a drug for specific therapeutic requirement. But the major disadvantage of this drug, this dr system of classification doesn't consider the morphology or chemical nature of the drug and difficult to place a drug with more than one different therapeutic uses. For example, Shinkona bark shows antimalarial activity uh, due to the presence of uh, its one of the important alkaloid quinine and it also shows anti-arrhythmic activity due to the presence of quinidine which is actually the isomer of this particular uh, drug so again it is very difficult to categorize under a specific category thank you